everyone, Ken Harwood from Sega 16 back again with another pickup video. Nothing really Genesis related this time. I got one Genesis item, but it's not really a game. Not yet, anyway. This one's mostly Nintendo centered, and uh, which is pretty good because I don't usually tend to f uh, find a lot of Nintendo stuff cheap, so uh, it was good that I found some stuff. Uh, first one I have is Jurassic Park for the Super Nintendo. Uh, cart only. My NES, Super NES, and Nintendo 64 games, I really don't care if they're boxed or not. I'm not going to be going, running after these games, finding these cardboard boxes. I mean, it's not like they came in sweet, sweet clamshells, you know, like uh, Genesis games and Master System games did. So I'm not going to really go running after cardboard. Uh, this one is going to need a back replacement. It's kind of faded. But I have the security bit screwdriver so I can swap that out with a clean back. I have all three of the Genesis Jurassic Park games, and I wanted to check to see if this one, how it compares, so if this one's any good. So I'm got, happy to get that one. I got it pretty cheap. Uh, the next game I got for the NES, Baseball. Uh, yeah, this is a black box, five screw. Did not have a Famicom converter, though. But uh, I got it, uh, I think, for like $2. And this one I'm fond of because back in the day, my brother and I used to play this, the arcade version of this. They had two consoles facing each other, they were linked, and so we could play against each other. And it was always cool to play against my brother, so having this game brings back some memories. Um, the next game for the NES is Kings of the Beach. This is an awesome uh, two-on-two beach volleyball game. You can even play uh, four players at the time, and I have a four score. So that's pretty cool that you can actually play. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There you go. Uh, so you can actually play four people. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, even my dog likes it. Oh, I took all that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh, so this was a, a good find. Got it cheap. It's a fun game. Happy to have that one. And the last NES game is Highlight. Yeah, I know this one sucks big time, but uh, I have Super Highlight. I like Super Highlight. Yes, that's right. I like Super Highlight. If you don't, take it up with your congressman. But I like Super Highlight. I think it's a great game. I have Virtua Highlight, and that one is indeed a uh, bag of balls, but um, I figured, well, I got most of the highlights, why not get them all? So, And this one, I don't know, it, it's really old school, old school 8-bit RPGs, a lot of people don't have patience for that, I do, so I might actually find some redeeming quality in it, but uh, it was only, I think, a dollar, and curiosity got the better of me, so I figured, you know, I also like the cover, so I figured, why not? Uh, the next thing I got was a Jungle Green Nintendo 64 controller. And the reason why I wanted that is because I have a Jungle Green Nintendo 64. But I had a regular gray, 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 regular gray controller that came with it, and I always wanted to complete the set. I got this for $9. It was kind of grimy, but it cleaned up nicely. Joystick is eh, uh, kind of, you know, it's, it need, might need to be picked, changed, but, uh, but it works fine. I already tried it out. So now I'm very happy... To complete this set, uh, I've heard that these colored consoles, Nintendo 64 consoles, are really going up in price, so I'm happy to complete the set before things got too insane. Uh, next thing I got for the 3DS, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. I uh, put about an hour of play into this one, and it is kind of mediocre. It's, it wants to be like Metroid, but it's not as good. It's not a bad game by any means. I think I paid $15 for it, and I was happy with that price for what I've played so far. I'm a big Batman fan. I haven't played Batman Arkham Origins yet. I'm still waiting for that to go down in price, but when it does, I'll grab it. And so I, uh, I wanted to play it. This one seems to be uh, all right, worth playing through. So I'm eager to give that one some more play time and see how it goes. Uh, I got this one pretty cheap, too. Project X Zone. I don't know if I'm going to play this because it says strategy RPG, and I really don't know how much patience I have for strategy RPGs. came with a Nintendo code, so I'm happy about that. But I might trade this one. If anyone's interested, let me know. We could do a trade. Um, it was really cheap, complete. Like I said, had the Nintendo code, so I figured, why not? If, at the very least, if anything, it'll look really nice, you know, on my shelf with all my other 3DS games. Uh, pad the collection, I guess, but uh, I'll definitely probably use it I'll definitely, probably, that's good. I'll most likely use it for uh, trade fodder. And the last thing, the only Genesis item I got this week was uh, Battletoads of Double Dragon, but not the game. I got the box off eBay for $5, and I got the manual off eBay for $4. 
So for $9, I have the box and manual, and now all I have to do is find a cartridge with a label that's intact. If I can get that for about $15, I'll be happy. If anyone has looked on eBay, a complete copy of a game in this condition, if, they, if I've managed to find a cartridge with the label intact, a complete copy of the game in that condition goes for about $30 to $35. So I figured to take a chance, it might be cheaper to piece it together. I got Joe and Mac for Genesis for about $24 pieced together. I got the cartridge for 10 got the insert for 2 and I got the manual for 12 Still came out cheaper than buying a regular complete copy on eBay. I did the same thing with Shove It. I was hoping, hoping I would have that luck with Battletoads and Jumble Dragon. If not, at least I didn't have to spend $35 in one shot. Um, there's absolutely no way I find this game in this condition around here. So that's what I've had to do to be able to get it. And uh, this one's on my list, so I'll be very happy when I get the cartridge to uh, cross that one off. But at least I have the box and the manual. already has a place on the shelf. So uh, it's good to get that. So uh, that's all it, there is for this week. Um, as always, head over to Sega16.com. Check out our articles, interviews, and reviews. Uh, thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I try to put up a new pickup video every Wednesday and a Mel's Music on Saturday. I'm trying to get another Dreaming in 16 Bits done, but scheduling has been very, very, very difficult for me. I don't have a lot of free time. That's why I'm making more of these types of videos because they're a lot easier. They don't require a lot more you know, scripting and editing and things like that. So, uh, But I will try to get uh, keep videos posted regularly. So subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.